This is Jonathan Larson with TYT Investigates. Just wanted to bring you up to speed on what happened overnight, the crisis developing at the Justice Department, a legal battle, a political battle. Last night, U.S. Attorney General William Barr announced that he was uh, replacing the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York. That's Jeff Berman, Southern District of New York, and includes Manhattan, it includes Wall Street. It is basically, outside of Washington, one of, if not the most powerful U.S. Attorney positions in the country. Jeff Berman, the prosecutor who held and still holds that position, was appointed by Jeff Sessions, the Republican. This is a Republican prosecutor who has been removed, or attempted to be removed, by the Attorney General. Here's what Barr said in a statement last night. Finally, I thank Jeff Berman, Jeffrey Berman, who is stepping down after two and a half years of service as United States Attorney for the Southern District of New York. With tenacity and savvy, Jeff has done an excellent job leading one of our nation's most significant U.S. Attorney's offices. Now, reportedly, Barr tried to get Berman to resign yesterday. Berman refused. Barr offered Berman other positions. Berman refused. Now, the implication there, of course, is that Berman did nothing wrong in his job. And in fact, it's been reported that the man that um, Barr wants to replace Berman with, uh, Jay Clayton, who is the chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission, Clayton wanted to come back to New York and expressed interest in the job. So basically, it looks like Clayton, who had no prosecutorial experience, asked Barr for the job, and Barr said, okay, you can have it. Now, there's obviously more to it than this. Oh, and the interim replacement is Craig Carpentino, the U.S. Attorney for the District of New Jersey. Carpentino is a former lawyer for Chris Christie. Here's where it gets a little more interesting. Berman is in the middle of and has completed investigations against Trump associates, including... Michael Cohen, Giuliani, Jeffrey Epstein. Reportedly, he's been looking into Deutsche Bank as well. So last night, one hour after Barr puts out his statement saying Berman has stepped down, Berman puts out a statement saying, I'm going to read the full thing, quote, I learned in a press release from the Attorney General tonight that I was, quote, stepping down as United States Attorney. I have not resigned and have no intention of resigning my position, to which I was appointed by the judges of the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York. I will step down when a presidentially appointed nominee is confirmed by the Senate. Until then, our investigations will move forward without delay or interruption. I cherish every day that I work with the men and women of this office to pursue justice without fear or favor and intend to ensure that this office's important cases continue unimpeded. This is basically Berman saying, screw you, not only am I not stepping down, I'm going to continue to do my work on these investigations. I will not be deterred. So now this becomes a legal battle. Most likely the Justice Department will go to court to seek uh, Berman's, Berman's dismissal. Most likely Berman will go to court to stay his dismissal until the president nominates and someone is confirmed to replace him. But it's also a political battle. Jerry Nadler, congressman from New York, also chairs the Judiciary Committee. He was already scheduled to hold hearings on Wednesday regarding the politicization of the Justice Department with two Justice Department whistleblowers. He announced almost immediately that Berman was invited to attend uh, Wednesday's hearing. Here's the thing, that's not enough, right? The issue with crime, whether it's committed by the, those in the highest office or whether it's committed by people on the street, the issue with crime is, is it allowed? Right? The problem is not that there are criminals. There will always be criminals. The problem is that right now the only check and or balance we have against the criminality of high office is Democrats who hold the House of Representatives. And if they do nothing, then, it, then, it gets, then they get away with it. And hearings are, are paltry, paltry remedies for what's happening here. You can subpoena people. You can subpoena documents, have those subpoenas sent out today, force the release of those documents. You can seek to, you can get an injunction against the replacement of Berman, right? You can do all of these things. Here's the bigger, bigger issue. The House controls the purse. This has been the historic role of the House of Representatives. You control the purse. I tweeted last night before any of this happened that Democrats in the House are yelling, you're a fascist and here's your budget. 
This has been going on for years. They've been authorizing budgets, allocating funds, handing over money for the very things that they say are wrong and unlawful without putting any strings on them, without attaching any conditions. The time is now to say, you will, not, you will retract this removal of Berman, or we won't fund your office. The entire Department of Justice, we won't fund it. And if people say, oh, you can't do that, it's too important. Well, if it's too important, then they'll back down. Let them be the ones to back down for once from a maximalist position. There's no law that says Democrats can't be the ones to, to take the steering wheel out of their car in a game of chicken and say, I'm the madman, you're going to have to stop. So let's not pretend that there aren't much more rigorous remedies that Democrats can be pursuing, and let's ask them, let's press them why they're not. We'll have updates as, as this goes on, of course. We'll see what happens, and uh, if you don't already, please follow and subscribe here on YouTube on Facebook. Check us out. We do commentary all the time. We post our original reporting, and uh, we try to bring you some context when, when events like this break. Thanks for your support. Bye now.